important words to the Shema. The first Shema is listen. If we hear, then and only then can we go on to the next part of that paragraph, Ve'ahavta, right? You shall love with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Found a place where my troubles fade away. Samantha, I'm incredibly lucky to have you as my partner and wife. There's so much I admire about you. Your adventurous spirit, your genuine warmth, and your ability to whip up anything in the kitchen with four ingredients or less. Sam has had a positive influence on Robbie. She has taught him to cook, clean, do the dishes, laundry, fold, exercise, spend money, be organized, garden, bathe, pack, and dress himself. Robbie, you are my best friend and cheerleader. You have always made me feel loved, secured, and appreciated. He is a hard worker and always puts his family first, including all his nieces and nephews, or as Rob and Sam call them, nibblings. I love seeing you with my family, especially my nephews and nieces who greet me with, oh hi Robbie, where's Samantha? And who have also tried to kidnap you multiple times by playing hide and seek and telling me, I guess she disappeared. You'll have to go home without her just so they can play with you a little bit longer. Yes, everything's all right. Being a parent, being a son, being a daughter is challenging and difficult for all of us. But you two should always know that our love for you is always unwavering. L'chaim tovim, to a happy and prosperous good life. You are the most patient person I've ever met. Even when I backseat drive you in Chicago traffic or ask you to keep pace with me in the kitchen like we're on an episode of The Bear. In you, I have found my soulmate, rock, and confidence. And as I stand here marrying the love of my life and best friend, Samantha, I can't help but feel the overwhelming presence of my mom, Rosie. I am certain she would be proud that I am marrying a partner who embodies qualities that she so beautifully represented herself. Empathy, kindness, unwavering support, Jewish values, and a love of family. Rosie and I knew that Samantha too is kind and smart and sensitive with so many fine qualities and she's part of such a fine and wonderful family. It's no doubt that Robbie found the lid for his pot and Samantha did as well. After seeing how adorable and happy they are together, I couldn't be more overjoyed to now be able to call him brother-in-law. It's truly inspiring to see how you lift each other up and bring out the best in each other. Robbie, we're thrilled to welcome you into our family, not as a son-in-law, but as our bonus. We, we want to conclude our speech by imparting wisdom to you both that our mom imparted to us and our husbands on our wedding days. That the wedding is just the beginning of life's big journey and that you should make the most of every day and enjoy each moment, big or small.
best travel companion, and you make every trip better, despite asking us to get to the airport five hours early. You have always met me with kindness and understanding, and I am so incredibly lucky to be your wife. Thank you. Today, I know my mom is celebrating with us, along with my grandparents, Bluma, Pinky, Bob, and Shirley, sharing in the joy of this special moment and watching over us with pride. I'm beyond excited to start this new chapter with you and build a future of love and adventure. I love you more. Home.